Since ancient times, humans and demons have lived in different worlds, and there was only enmity between them. There are laws for the wisps, and those who break them cannot be reborn. This story begins with the second princess from the demon tribe. The action takes place in the royal palace. Everyone is playing hide and seek, but a killer suddenly bursts in. It's Byat Exe's sister, who has come to her elder sister's first princess to take her home, because demons are not allowed to live in the human world. The struggle between the sisters heats up, using magic they want to clarify their relationship using force. For 600 years she has still managed to defeat the elder, and then the dragonesses show their nature, in the form of white and black dragons, they break out into the sky and intertwine in the struggle. The second sister falls to the ground, injured. The Temple of the Azure Dragon a young monk returns from the mountains, he went to collect medicinal herbs, what happened here? He sees a large vat of milk with beautiful water lilies growing in it, he takes a stick and starts stirring the milk, suddenly a strange beautiful girl comes out of it, it's our Baik Si, she wonders who is here to interfere with her rest. The guy gets scared of the demon and starts running away, she takes him prisoner and starts interrogating him. It turns out that Hong Zai is a worker at the Azure Dragon Temple. He has lived here since childhood, but the abbot believes that it is too early for him to become a monk. The abbot died three years ago. There was a famine and everyone went to live in the city and preach, but he stayed here and went to the mountain to get some healing herbs. When he returned, he saw her. The dragon princess asked him if his meat was tasty. Then a raven scout saw the princess with the worker in the temple and reported it to her older sister in the royal palace, who was angry and did not want to return to her world, so she ordered the raven to send someone to follow her so that when she came for her sister again, she could not destroy her plans. The prince came and saw the first princess's wounds and felt as if he was guilty that he had caused her to suffer. The princess replied that she loved him so much that she would die for him. The prince promised that when his old man died, he would sit on the throne and create a world where people and demons could live together. Then they will rule this world. Meanwhile, the second princess of the Northern Dragon Mountain, Bai Xi, is going on a trip to the capital to find her sister, of course taking the prisoner with her. Hanji asks what he has to do with her and her sister. He has never been to the capital. The princess amusingly replies that firstly, it is sad to travel alone, and secondly, he will be food for her. If she gets hungry, she will eat him. Meat pies and rice noodles, stewed pork chops, roasted legs of lamb, hawthorns and glaze, and a pie with water chestnuts were the princess's dream food. Then she sees the prisoner trying to escape, and wonders which part of him she should start eating. The law of nature, the stronger eats the weak. The guy started begging for mercy and mercy, as if humans are not like demons, they have love. That's what makes them different. Bayaksai thought it sounded frank, but what is love? The guy seemed to be telling the truth. Time passed, and their boat arrived in the capital city of Lutai, where she had to find her sister, and they were invited as guests by some boys at the door. The guys locked the boy up like a meal in one of the rooms where beautiful girls started to wrap themselves around him. They offered to drink a strange infusion he refused. The girls said that if he didn't drink it himself, they would get him drunk anyway, and he started drinking with them. Meanwhile, Bai Xi saw a nice hostess in a luxurious dress, and she politely invited the dragoness of the northern mountain to the table. She had heard a lot about her, and was pleasantly surprised by her presence. The mistress has been trading important information in the mortal world for many years. How much is the princess willing to pay to find out what she wants to know about her sister? Bai Xi, with a strange magical movement, takes off her mask, and this is a nine-tailed fox, the most cunning demon, she is ready to tell everything. Six months ago, the first princess came to Lutai with a man with her. Who was he? Perhaps it doesn't matter. What matters is what he did. To take the throne, he killed all the princes, and her sister helped him. The nine-tailed fox was paid to kill the second princess and sent a killer demon to her. Then Hongzi wakes up, surrounded by zombies. Bai Xe saves him, and they escape together backslash the royal palace is back. The emperor has died, signed the last decree. Since he will not recover, and the imperial family is no longer there, he feels guilty towards his ancestors. But fortunately, he has an illegitimate son who was sent outside the palace 18 years ago. He has a moon-shaped birthmark on his chest, and he ordered to find him and help him take the throne. Now Hong Zi rescues Bai Xi. He brings her to the houses of the unconscious, where his brothers from the temple live, lights a fire and tries to warm her. The guy gives her a drop of his blood to revive her and sees her turn into a dragon. Surprise, he strokes the dragon and says, Don't be afraid, I'm with you. Morning. Bai Xi wakes up and goes out to the courtyard, where the Buddhist temple brethren are distributing porridge to the poor. Hongzi offers a portion to the girl, and after she tastes it, she throws the plate away, wondering how she can eat it. Then the people start to fuss, the emperor's soldiers are coming, everyone is running away. 
everyone stands still, a new order is read out. His Majesty has ordered the arrest of a man with a moon-shaped birthmark on his chest. Those who hide it in their homes will be killed. The princess begins to defend Hong Ji and his people. Everyone sees the magic and decides it is a demon. Even though she has been protecting these people, they are still afraid because they know that demons eat people. It's dusk. Han Ji comes to buy Exai and invites the girl to walk around the city for the lantern festival, even preparing a dress for her so that no one will recognize her. The nine-tailed fox in the royal palace failed in his task and was unable to kill Bai Exte, but he assures her that he knows a guy with a moon-shaped birthmark on his chest, who is Han Zi, traveling with the second princess. The prince promises to pay in gold, but brutally kills the fox in front of everyone. Han Zi and Bai Exai are walking around the city where there are so many people because the lantern festival is considered the happiest time of the year. They come to a shop with a lot of lanterns, each with a riddle under it. They quickly guessed the first one, but the second one made the couple think. It's a dark night, the moon comes to my dreams, this beauty cannot be preserved. If life is beautiful and full of suffering, why is love so hard to forget? Perhaps this is the most difficult riddle. Hanji does not know the answer. Then, squeezing through the crowd, Hanzi tries to catch up with Baek City. They look at each other, fireworks begin, everything looks so romantic. Bai Xa climbs with a guy on the roof of one of the buildings to better see the fireworks. It's so beautiful. They started a conversation about their older, cranky, cruel sister who often visited the capital city of Lutai. What does love look like? The fox said that the first princess fell in love with someone, so she stayed in the world of humans. However, her mother said that humans and demons could not be together, so the second princess was sent to take her older sister home. Why can't people and demons be together? Isn't he still afraid that she will eat him? They started talking about Hong Zi. He was abandoned at the gate of the Azure Dragon Temple. It was snowing heavily that day, and since then he has lived in the temple and prayed to the Buddha with his tutors. It was time to look for the first princess, and when they returned to their homes, they found all the brothers dead, and a raven had already worked there, having been tasked by his older sister to kill a couple who might interfere with their power. Bai Xai protects Kun Zi and kills the raven. The dying raven said that the second princess made the same mistake as the first, that this guy is the prince of the world of the dead, the future emperor, and their relationship will not end well. His brothers are dead. Kun Jai is desperate. This human life mean nothing to demons. He blamed Bai Xi for the death of her brothers. If it wasn't for her and her sister, everyone would be alive, not recognizing who he was talking to, who could have accused her so cruelly, and he was talking about love for a moment. She thinks she should leave him and goes up to the roof to think about what has happened. Hanji returns to the temple, sees his mentor, repents for coming down from the mountain without permission, for not protecting the temple in a proper way, and also feels guilty that his brothers were killed because of him. The mentor explains that when karma is in harmony, everything is united. When harmony is disturbed, everything is divided. The harmony of karma gives rise to everything in the world. When harmony is destroyed, everything disappears. The world of mortals is small, but it contains many living entities. A good heart, though small, also realizes the mercy of the Buddha. There is no right and wrong in the world. Everything has causes and effects, criteria of judgment in the hearts of people. Karma creates, but karma can also destroy. If all living beings have nothing, then the wise pragma of the pyramid also has nothing. Again, the prince of the mortal world is angry that the demon did not fulfill the task and did not kill the second princess. He knew that demons cannot be relied upon. Then the second princess comes to the royal palace. She removes the guards and wants to strangle the prince, but her older sister comes out and tells her to stay out of her business. The second princess begs her to go home because demons and humans cannot be together. Is this when the prince finds out that it is her sister? Then kill her and he will forgive her. Turning the sisters against each other, a fierce struggle begins between them. They turn into a white and a black dragon and fly up into the sky. The sky is covered with terrible lightning. The roofs catch fire. The city starts to burn. People run away from fear. Two dragons attack each other. A deep wound is bloody. Hongzi comes running. The white dragon falls down. The guy tries to get through to her mind. It's her sister. How can she kill her? Then she decides to kill Hong Zi. He is touched by a fiery lash, and the boy falls unconscious. The second princess begs her to stop, offering to let him go. The eldest sister explains that she cannot do this because if she kills him, his majesty's wish will come true, and thus she will not have to kill her sister. Bai Xi offers a deal, the same as the elder sister made with the prince. She is willing to exchange her life for his, but her sister reminds her, is the prince worth your life? The sisters agree not to sacrifice their lives and want to return home.
Then His Majesty comes out, embraces the first princess, tries to reassure her that everything is fine and there is no need to explain anything, but he pulls out a sword and pierces her heart, wasn't she ready to do anything for him? The sister falls down, barely alive. When she dies, he will tell the whole world that the demon dragon brought trouble, killed the emperor and the crown prince, and he will become a hero, and then the emperor himself, and will not share power with anyone. Didn't his sister want him to become emperor? His sister dies, and then he decides to kill the second princess, but Hong Zi shields her, and he is hit by the sword that was prepared for Bai Xtai. She sees how Hong Zi has sacrificed himself for her, and in revenge she kills her sister's lover, asking him finally, did you really love her? He replied that no one needs love, only power makes sense. Bai Xi simply froze him and broke the ice statue. It started snowing, time passed, the second princess came to, saw that Hong Zi was still alive, wanted to save him, started to carry him, then fell and he said frank words, there was no need to go anywhere, that he was wrong, it seems there are bad and good demons, just like there are bad and good people, probably good people and good demons can be together. Then he remembered the riddle he hadn't solved in the lantern shop. It's a dark night, the moon comes in dreams, this beauty cannot be preserved, if life is short and full of suffering, why is love so hard to forget? And then he dies in Bayexi's arms, what is the answer to this riddle? The second princess has been thinking for 300 years, she probably doesn't know. One day, while walking in the city, the second princess comes across a young man crossing a bridge. A scroll falls into his hands. It seems to be him again. He looks so much like Hongzi. They met again, and the story began a new turn of love between humans and demons.